so uh, hello, good to be here. Um, unlike most presentations I've heard so far, this one isn't about presenting a new method for anything. It's really just about presenting a data set that we've uh, measured and um, it could definitely be used for uh, research purposes. And so, first of all, just going through the title, so two data sets of room impulse responses, so far so good, for navigation and six degrees of freedom. For those who may not know what that is, uh, six degrees of freedom is something usually present like in VR and so on. Uh, it's about being able to move in the three dimensional space in all three axes, so the first three degrees, and then rotate as well. So the, the, the data sets of impulse responses were um, kind of recorded with that in mind. And so for that to be possible, they are mostly ambisonic impulse responses, more specifically of the third order, so 16 channels per file. And uh, there are two of them for two different rooms, which are both interesting for very different reasons. Uh, the first one is a symphonic concert hall, uh, so interesting because it's good. And the other one, uh, a former planetarium, so uh, interesting because it's absolutely terrible. And uh, yeah, I really would have loved to show a video. I think I skipped the slide anyway, but I wouldn't have had the time, so uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly about the video though. There are QR codes in the poster which lead to the videos I was going to show anyway. And so if you're interested, there's that. And very, very briefly what it is, is just a demo of um, moving around in a room between uh, impulse responses and using uh, interpolated uh, inter uh, impulse responses using um, dynamic time warping. And we're just moving around and hearing what the room should sound like using uh, sound that was recorded in a um, um, anechoic chamber. Yeah. So yeah, that's the planetarium dome. Uh, this is uh, uh, just a plan of one of the multiple recording sessions that are there. And uh, this is the Symphonic Concert Hall, which is the Maison Symphonique in Montreal, which is actually the, the concert hall where the Montreal Symphonic Orchestra plays regularly. So uh, it's probably the most prestigious concert hall uh, for classical music in Montreal. And it's also pretty recent. I think it's been inaugurated like 10 or 11 years ago. And so could be interesting. And uh, finally, yeah, the data sets. I think the main two important things here, firstly, is the license. Uh, so essentially what that means is that anybody is free to use it for non-commercial purposes. And so if you're interested, well, uh, come see me. And uh, similarly, um, while there are uh, a few uh, data sets of ambisonic impulse responses out there, I haven't seen any of them include either plans or 3D models or something information about the room itself in which it was recorded. And so we do provide 3D models uh, of both of those rooms, which are on scale and uh, accurate. And uh, that's it. Come see me uh, with a coffee. <laughs>